Good morning, everybody. It is quarter to six. I was supposed to be getting a train to Heathrow Airport today to pick Cam up from the airport. I've just woken up and all trains are cancelled. The next one's actually in a couple of hours, but there's a warning on it that it could be cancelled at any second. And that also would get me there like two hours late. And then the train's running back to Brighton. I'll touch and go right now. So I have actually just booked Cam a taxi with a local taxi service. And I'm going to recommend the taxi service to you guys for airport pickup or drop off if they're good because they were so helpful it's not even 6 a.m yet and i thought i phoned them up i was like please can i book a taxi he was so nice he just took the flight number so he can monitor it and apparently i'm gonna get a tracking link for the taxi so i can track them and his registration number and everything like that but yeah if the taxi service is good if they get to cam and she gets dropped off i will definitely recommend them to you guys because this is all super last minute you can't believe that we're up so early can you i'm gonna get nelly some kibble because he's really excited that we're up early and his food bowl's empty then i'm gonna go back to bed for a couple of hours i think and cross my fingers and toes that the taxi works out if not i am not sure what we will do there you go, Nelly. You with the Christmas tree. I thought I had the Christmas tree on a timer, but apparently not because it hasn't turned off. So here we go. It is on. <sighs> I'm going to turn it off. But that was nice to wake up to. I can't get back to sleep. <laughs> I'm worrying too much. But also, I basically sleep in the guest bedroom nowadays at the other side of the flat. But I'm sleeping in here because I freshly fake tanned and it gets all over the bedding. And I just washed the bedding ready for Cam. So I thought that I'd sleep in here. And it's just different, you know, when it's not your bed. So I'm going to get up. I'm going to have a shower, wash this tan off, and then probably sit on the sofa and watch a couple of episodes of The Summer I Turned Pretty. That's the new show that I started. I'm really enjoying it. So should we do that? Mommy can't sleep. Look, I'd set my little outfit up and my necklace. <laughs> Nelly, no more London. I know. More time with you though. I am so tired. <laughs> the weather has calmed down a little bit. You can't hear any rain anymore. Here to update you. <laughs> I think I've got a cold right on time, which bloody sucks. I've taken paracetamol and I've been having strepsils, but I've got that thing, you know, where it hurts like down the back of your nose and you're like, okay, this is either going to turn into a full blown cold or go away. So fingers crossed it goes away. I'm thinking positive thoughts. Cam has just landed though. I need to change this clock on the wall. I literally haven't changed it since daylight savings, but it is about 8.40. She's just landed. The taxi driver is lovely. He's called me with updates. He's so nice. So I am using Hove Actually Taxis and they do airport services. It's costing £140, which I think is actually very reasonable to Heathrow because the trains and the tube and everything total for two people costs around 100 So this is only £40 more and he's done it last minute and he's going to get a hefty tip. But yeah, very grateful for that. I don't know what we would do if I hadn't found a taxi for her because all trains are cancelled now. Cam says she didn't get any sleep on the flight. So I think when she gets here, we're going to have a little nap. Not the day I planned, but everything is getting sorted. And I've made myself a little den right here by the tree. Got some pillows for my feet. So I want to keep them elevated because my legs have been a little bit swollen the last few days. And we've got a bobbins looking through the mesh again. Hey, sweetheart, you got a lovely brush yesterday, didn't you? You're looking very smart. There we go. A little peephole for Nelson, who's been a creeper. Hello, hello, we are here. Cam has arrived. So you guys are in for a treat. We are gonna sit and answer some questions right now. Cam is on the mic. Okay, I'm liking some of these. They're kind of juicy, which reminds Ooh. me, we actually just did a new type of Q&A on our Patreon for stay-at-home yes. girlfriends that we called the hot seat. I took 15 really personal, really crazy questions that I already kind of knew the answer to for Gabby and asked them to her and I was gonna tell the audience if she was lying. So she had to answer honestly and she only got to pass one question. Are you ready to mm, jump into the I'm not seat? sure. Okay, I'm ready. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Question one, have you ever had a threesome? Have you ever been in love with a man? Was that man ever featured on your YouTube channel? How many people that you have had sex with have also been featured 
on your YouTube channel. What is the best sex we've ever had? And there will be a link in the down bar if you guys want to check that content out. But for right now, we are going to answer these Instagram questions. I haven't read them yet, so these are going to be a surprise. What is Jane's opinion? about you being in America so much. Ooh, I think she's fine with it for the most part. She just wants me to be happy and have a good life. She knows that I'm happy when I'm in America. So I think she's fine with it. Obviously she misses me and she likes when I'm home, but I think she's fine with it. Yeah. At first, I don't think she was. Right. She was a little like apprehensive of me spending so much time there, but now she's met you and she knows like how we are together and stuff. She's a lot more okay with it. When are you going for your next lipedema operation? Mm, January, not gonna say the exact date, but January, mid-January. I'm nervous. I think it'll go well. It'll go well, it'll all be fine, but like I am nervous. Can I just say it's sort of hard though as your partner, just because I worry about her so much when she has a surgery or even just a procedure. Yeah. And like, I think your body's perfect and I don't think you need the surgery. I know for personal reasons. And also I know some of the lipedema can cause like discomfort mm. and you know, problems with like skin and stuff. But to me, I'm just like, I, I wish you didn't have to get it. I know. A bit. But I, I, do, know. I do support your choices fully. Yeah. But it is just like, oh. It's a tricky decision because it is something that I need. Like yeah. it is. Yeah. But at the same time, it's not gonna be my favorite thing on earth to go and have this surgery either. Yeah. But it is what it is. And I am, oh my God, I'm like a different person after my first one. The amount less pain I get in my legs after this first surgery is insane. And also I just feel so much more confident and it's given me a new lead of life so i am excited but also very nervous trying not to think about it but it is in january what is your ideal roast dinner okay stuffing carrots done in butter mashed potatoes yorkshire pudding and this is controversial because some people don't have this on a roast but i do because i don't like broccoli or anything peas mm. and gravy that's all i care about i don't want the meat I don't want any parsnips. I don't want any other gross vegetables. Oh, a bit of cauliflower cheese. Mm. So that's my ideal, like no meat, just stuffing. Stuffing covering half the plate. I do love Jane's stuffing so much. I've got some stuffing in the cupboard. I just really want to make it and eat it out the bowl. <laughs> what would your ideal be? Christmas ham, honey baked ham. It's a it's a ham and it has like brown sugar crust oh. on it. Honey, brown sugar, kind of sweet crust. I'm gonna add that to my roast. I love a ham. Yeah, I was surprised when you said no meat. I was like, Christmas ham I've never ham had a ham so on a roast dinner. Okay, there's another question here and I'm gonna blend that question in right now. Okay. And the question is, what are your Christmas plans? They asked you this, but I'm just gonna answer. You can answer. <laughs> well, we're not 100% sure, but we're pretty sure I'm actually coming here. Yeah. We were gonna do like a big fat American Christmas with my family because my family has been known to throw down some crazy Christmases. I was so excited for that. Yeah, but because of the surgery, yeah. you can't fly long haul for like eight weeks before that. Four weeks. And so that timing doesn't work out. So yeah. I think I'm coming here and we are gonna maybe have like a private little couple's Christmas here or we might go up to Sheffield with Gabby's family and yeah. you know, do a bit of a party vibe. So we can't have honey baked ham here yeah, because it's not in England as yeah. far as I know. Although I'm sure there are places where you can get like a sweet ham. Yeah, like probably. It. So that might be a request I put in. I think we're gonna do like a Christmas in November with my family. Mm. Gabby's coming to America for a couple weeks because we have this big uh, meetup with all our friends, the same people we went to New York with. Before that, I think we may go to my hometown, stay with my parents for a couple days and do like a Christmas with them. <gasps> will I get a ham? I think we'll have to get the ham. I'm gonna have to vlog that. Yeah. I mean, I will be vlogging that because it'll be November. Yeah. I can't wait to have ham. <laughs> yeah. How are you making money right now? Oh, I feel like I've kind of answered this before, YouTube. Sure. I make money through ads, which is actually how I make probably the majority of my money, or at least like a good amount of it comes through ads. And I freaking love working with brands. Like it's one of my favorite things about my job is working with brands. I actually just filmed an ad with OPI Nails and this isn't sponsored, but I just loved filming the ad so much. I was so happy filming it. It's over on TikTok if you wanna see. So yeah, a lot comes through ads. Obviously I've got my shop, which has been closed for a while, but is reopening very soon. Affiliate links, like if you link clothing or items that you've done in a haul, that is another way. TikTok, I make a bit of money on. Oh, and I've got sugar daddy. <laughs> Is it me? <laughs> the podcast as well. Yeah, I feel like that's it. Like the majority of my money comes from social media. How much do you miss Cam? I don't, you're right here. <laughs> 
<laughs> what about when I'm not here? When you're not here, I miss you a lot. I would say for both of us, the first week is kind of fine. First two weeks? Okay. <laughs> I feel like for me... The no, the first two weeks are okay. It's like fine. We talk and, you know... We just get like back to our own lives separately and back mm -hmm. to work properly and back to our own routines. But then after the two-week mark, it's like, okay, this isn't fun anymore. Yeah. And I, in an ideal world, we would only ever be apart for a max of two weeks. Yeah. Do I like my new hair? No. Not right now. I don't. <laughs> that wasn't even a question. What? I just have a grievance with it right now. I look like a mom. You look sexy. I look sexy sometimes with it, but like right now, you right this beautiful. second, I think, do you know what? This hair with v-necks does not look right. You look gorgeous. It looks right with like a crew neck. You look very beautiful. I love you, but you <laughs> have to too. say that. No, it's just true. Doesn't she, say in the comments how fucking gorgeous she looks I right look now. like a mom. No offense to the moms watching, <laughs> but you guys know what I mean. Like a lot of moms, they have a kid, they cut their hair off and then they're a mom, you know? And I feel like I look like a mom and I wanted to look sexy sexy you do look so sexy you're gorgeous how are you going to celebrate your first anniversary with your girlfriend i'm looking for ideas to celebrate our first year this next sunday i love that question next sunday well first of all congrats that's exciting yeah we aren't going to be together no our anniversary is the 24th of november which was Thanksgiving last year, but Thanksgiving this year is the 23rd. It moves around. Yeah, it moves around. So it's actually the day after Thanksgiving this year. And I thought Thanksgiving was a set date. I was like, oh, every year, I know when our anniversary is because it's, it's Thanksgiving. No, it's not. <laughs> You screwed me over. Now I have to actively remember. But yeah, it's the 24th. We're not going to be together, but I get there on the 27th mm -hmm. and we're going to have a date night. Yeah, we can go out in Nashville. Nice restaurant. Yeah. Get dressed up. Where I are mean, we going? I actually, I need to figure it out. I need to decide. Okay. I want to find somewhere new, kind of fancy. Treat I, ourselves. Yeah, let's go for a nice fancy restaurant. Because yeah. hopefully I will have had my second stomach procedure. Right. I'll be able to eat a bit more. Yeah. So we can really like go to town. Get dressed up. And I think we're going to exchange some gifts. Your present arrived yesterday. Yeah. I'm so excited <laughs> to give it to you. So what, but what are some other ideas? I think either you can go out, obviously have a nice dinner, but I also think having a night in to yourselves, but making it fancy, like light some candles, cook a nice meal together. Just basically put your phones down and have the whole night together. Mm, I love that. Or you could, um, if you both got a hobby, do that together. Mm. Like if you've both been wanting to do something, I always say this, like a pottery class or like an art class, a cooking class, Book it in for your anniversary. I cut my thumb open, guys. I don't know what on. I took the bin bag out and I came back with like a huge gash in my thumb and blood all down my finger. Just fill in the space. I've got a question for you. Okay. What is your favorite vault track on 1989? I can't decide between Slut and Say Don't Go. Yeah. What about you? Say Don't Go. Okay. It's a box. It's these big open 80s sounds. Oh, uh, it's the... No, it's not Say Don't Go. It's Is It Over Now? That's, oh, that's my favorite. that's a good song too. I like the drum. I have sent those. I love that. Wait, can I ask a couple more? Okay. Top three pizza toppings. I just feel like that's important. Oh, it depends which restaurant we go to. If it's Pizza Express, I love their carbonara pizza. Mm -hmm. Carbonara base, bechamel base with pancetta and red onion. Oh, that sounds fabulous amazing if it's like dominoes i like mm. a barbecue base with their meatballs and sweet corn we should get dominoes tonight. we should get dominoes mm. let's do it i've got mac and cheese in the fridge but now i want a pizza <laughs> i like chicken bacon and red, red onion nice would love to know your tips for wlw that's women loving women dating can never tell if a girl is interested in me i struggled with that really yeah but you had so many dates I know, but I think personally, I would always kind of friend zone people without mm. trying to because I'm so like, I think I am pretty friendly in, in like a not sexy way, in a not flirty way. And people would read it as me just being like, oh, she's just being friendly. And especially because I am femme presenting, mm. if I didn't outright say to someone, I, I like women, they wouldn't really know. Mm. And I would just come off as a friend. Do you have tips for this? Learn how to flirt. <laughs> And that helps. Flirting to me is like a mix of sassy, funny, mean, cute. Mean, but not, not insulting. Actually. Right, like, yeah. Like, poke them. You know, give them a little poke. <laughs> like, basically just walk up to the woman you like and go, no, 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 no. 
A verbal poke. Like... Verbal poke. <laughs> and to me, flirting is the balance of like genuine heartfelt compliments, but also little pokes, little A teases. Cheeky. I would call that banter. Banter. That's sure. like English banter. Yeah. Oh, English banter is very Yeah. Sweet. You guys take the piss a bit more than yeah, we Americans take, do. Americans don't really take the piss. <laughs> I remember jabbing at you one time and you were just like, it's not, the, it's not the day for it today. And I was like, no, this is just who I am. I'm trying to flirt with you. <laughs> but go at it gently. And definitely for every banter, make sure there's like a really heartfelt compliment. I oh, love your hair, that I like your important. outfit. Like, yeah, balance it out. It can't, some people take the banter too far where right. they are just like mean, but they're like, no, I really like this person. So they just banter them all the time. But like, no, you have to compliment too. Yeah. There is also though, there is a look that you can give when you're into someone. Well, say that they came out in like a nice new outfit. Instead of just being like, oh, I like your outfit. Be like, I like your outfit. Look at their body, just be like, mm. look them up and down. Yeah. In like a sexy oh, way. Very much. That would drive me crazy. Oh, I like your outfit. <laughs> And hold the eye contact. Once you've yeah. looked at them, oh. hold it yeah. for like two seconds and then look away. Okay, I would go. Mm. Oh, you go. Mm. And then maybe, like, it, and depending on how close I am with her or like whatever, I would do, I would say like, damn girl. I like that energy. Mm. <laughs> now I'm just genuinely doing it because Gabby looks so sexy in these pajamas. Sure. They've seen these pajamas, right? You have to have some intuition about it and make sure you're not passing into like creep territory. Yeah. But if this is like an established, let's say there's been some of that already going on, maybe she's reciprocated. I definitely think. Oh, uh, yes. A touch on the arm. Yes. Just like, oh, you know, like a. Say you've got your arms everything. on the table. Like yeah. if you're going for dinner, if you're just having coffee together. Mm. Yeah, you put your arm there. Yeah. Okay, say something to me. Hi. Hi, how are yes, you? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Just, and it's like this forearm, forearm area. I yeah, like, yeah. And then you you want to come in with the thumb rub. The thumb rub. The thumb rub is where it's at, like for sure. That can be a move as well. I think like, that's more advanced. Something though. that I like to do mm -hmm. is if you go into the toilet, like if you take a break, if you're having coffee and you're like, oh, I'm just going to go to the toilet. Okay, put your arms there. Okay. Just be like, oh, I just need to go to the toilet. And then when you get up, you're just like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's no question. Like, sh sh she will know and she will feel like flattered. I mean, yeah. if it's, as long as it's like. Just give them like a little. Yeah, just come in with the. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're getting excited like flirting with each other. I know. We just had a nap, watched a film called No Hard Feelings with Jennifer Lawrence, which was actually quite good. And now we've got some Domino's pizza. We're doing the day right. Such a lazy day today. We've got garlic pizza bread. Cam's got tomato sauce, bacon, and red onion. We've got wedges, and I've got barbecue sauce, ground beef, red onion, and sweet corn. And let me know which one you would have in the comments. Who got the better meal? Get out of bed, you lazy toad. Delish. Time to eat. Didn't want Nelly to feel left out, so I pulled up a chair for him. He's a happy little boy. We're just watching Shit's Creek and eating our pizza. This, 10 out of 10. What would you rate yours? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Hell yeah. 